All right, Abby, are you ready to do this? So I've been seeing this crazy thing on the internet lately of people having chickens carve their pumpkins. And well, since I have a farm, and since I grow pumpkins, and pumpkins are in season, and I have a whole heck of a lot of chickens, I sort of figured I might as well give it a try. So in order to get your chickens to carve your pumpkin, you need to actually pre-score it. Most folks don't know this, but chickens are terrible artists, and so they need your help, and you've gotta provide them with the design. But all you have to do is just with a little knife, scratch out the design that you want. And then according to the internet, the chickens are going to carve up exactly where I've scratched. What do you think, Abby? You wanna try? My understanding is that dogs are terrible pumpkin artists. That wasn't very nice! All right, Abby, we're gonna set our pumpkin down just right here. I don't know. In terms of design, which one do you guys think I'm closest to? Let me know down in the comments. Also take a moment right now to let me know how you think this harebrained scheme is gonna turn out. Release the clucking! All right, chickens, do your thing. There's plenty of pumpkin here, plenty of pumpkin for everybody. These chickens seem very confused by the pumpkin, but I think they're starting to figure it out. I think they're starting to realize that the easiest places to eat are the parts that I carved. What do you think, Abby? Do you think they're gonna be able to do it? I'm gonna leave the chickens to do their thing, but let's go test this pumpkin carving idea on other animals on our farm. Because I wonder if it works for ducks, geese, pigs, barn cats. Okay, it definitely doesn't work on barn cats. <laughs> so the next animal I wanna to try to get carving pumpkins are my weird chickens. Since the weird chickens are the smaller chickens, see what we can get. What do you think, Abby? Is that a good pumpkin? Oh wow, would you look at that? It's like a nest of ladybugs. Actually, those might not be ladybugs. Those could be these like fake ladybug Japanese beetle things. Either way, I'm taking this pumpkin that they were using as a sleeping bag. Let's see, which design should we go for this time? Kind of like one of these toothy fellas. Ta-da! Hey, weird chickens, I got a job for you. Are you up to the task? Come on, Captain Janeway, no time for napping. Let's go, I got work for you to do. This isn't even one of her eggs. Because it's too darn small. I just let them spend more than an hour with this pumpkin and they have done barely anything to it. So I guess my verdict is that weird chickens cannot carve pumpkins. Well, the regular sized chickens are definitely putting in the work and staying busy. While I'm at this whole pumpkin carving thing, I might as well do another couple of designs for our ducks, our geese, our cattle, and our pigs. I wonder if they're gonna be better than the other chickens. Give this guy some angry eyebrows. I call him Herman. He is my son. Hey, honeybees, you wanna test your luck with the pumpkin? Whoa, would you look at that? Look at that, Abby. It's a rainbow, a rainbow over the farm. Isn't it beautiful? All right, let's test our luck and see how the ducks and geese do with the jackpot. All right, ducks and geese. Let's see how artistic you really are. Just set this down right here like so.
Well, I will say the ducks and geese were rather disappointing. They all just seemed to like step back and stare at it like they were a bunch of seventh graders at a middle school dance. Like they were all just kind of standing on the corner, looking at it, checking it out, but not exactly sure what to do with the pumpkin. Which is surprising because I have seen my ducks and geese feast on pumpkins in the past. And so while the artistic talents of the ducks and geese are rather disappointing, I bet there's another animal on the farm that could probably do a better job. Good morning, Moo Crew. I got a surprise for you, crew. Hey, Ariel, wanna try out this pumpkin? Can you carve it for me? Well, you like to lick it, that's for sure. How about you, Joey Ramon? You wanna give it a lick? I already made a design. Can you cut around the design? That's what I'm really hoping to see. Macho Man, do you have any interest? Hmm? Baby B, I know it's a scary design, but don't be scared of it. You can give it a shot. Amanda, you want to try? Hey, hey. Oh, Macho Man, you look like you want to try it, huh? Who's going to carve the pumpkin? You know, Joey Ramon, if you carve that pumpkin, that would become your new job if you carve that pumpkin. That would be like Wilbur in Charlotte's Web. Hey, 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 don't eat the camera. Don't eat the camera, man. That's not cool. The pumpkin, focus on the pumpkin, Joey. So it seems like my cattle have zero interest in trying to help me in my pursuit of carving this pumpkin, which I guess since they're grass-fed cattle, they probably only want grass feed, and I am about to move them to a fresh paddock. Yuck. Joey Ramon really slobbered on this camera. Gross. Not cool, Joey, not cool. Hey, Kels, come on, Kels, fresh grass, fresh grass, come on. Hey, Kels, fresh grass, come on. Yeah, it wasn't that they weren't hungry, it was just they weren't hungry for pumpkin. Okay, so my cattle weren't the artists I was hoping for, but I bet I know another animal that might be more interested. You know, they say that pigs are the smartest animal on the barnyard, and even though my experience would say contrary, let's see if they have any artistic talents and if they can carve up these jack-o'-lanterns. Hey, Piggly Wigglies, got a surprise for you. Sweetie, cutie, red, who wants to carve this first one? It's a smaller one, so it's a little bit of a delicate design. Here, give it a shot. Just remember, you gotta be gentle with that design. They've now mashed it into their pile of apples. Come on, girls, you can do better than that. All right, well, let's try this bigger one. Maybe you guys were interested in this one. Seem a little bit more excited.
While I was kind of skeptical for the pigs to be actually able to carve a design in the pumpkins, I didn't expect them to totally ignore them. I guess they just like apple drops better than they like pumpkins. Jenny Barncat, did you bring me something? What is it? Looks like we got a little bowl. Is that a bowl? Good job, Jenny. You keep up that good work. Might not be much for carving pumpkins, but you're really good at catching rodents. All right, let's see how our chickens are doing. How's it going, chickens? Come on, Abby, you wanna see how they're doing? So before I show you guys what the chickens have actually done, let me share the time lapse with you. All right, Abby, let's see what we got. Woo, lordy. Well, they got kind of ambitious here, but I am pretty impressed. What do you think, Abs? Actually, what the chickens carved is way more terrifying than what I did. I mean, good God. The nose and mouth kind of morphed together a little bit, and they sort of didn't entirely cut out the other side of the mouth, but it looks pretty crazy. What's really interesting, though, is they actually started to do their own work on the back side, and so that's what you have here. And the thing that I'm actually most surprised by is they went in and they were able to actually eat the seeds out. And so I thought I was gonna have to do a whole lot of pumpkin gut cleaning, but apparently not. Abby, what do you score this job? Chickens are definitely the most artistic animals that we have on the farm, there's no doubt about it. Sorry, Abby, don't mean to offend you. But yeah, I'm gonna let them keep doing their thing and I don't know, they can consume the whole gosh darn jack-o'-lantern. Because you're good little chickens and I love you. I love you too, Abby dog. And in case anybody's wondering, Toby's just napping under the canopy because it's starting to rain again.